So, in this tutorial, I'm going to go through integration by inspection type 1. I'll refer to that when you'll see more about type 2 and you'll see the two different types when I go through it. So, does the middle differentiate to the outside apart from constant multiples? And I'll explain that as we go through this question. So, this is a way of, it's also called the reverse chain rule. What you're trying to do is work out what differentiates to this thing. So, if you know your chain rule well enough, you should be okay on this, but it's going to take a time to get it because it's quite difficult. So, this is the middle, and this is the outside. So, does the middle differentiate to the outside apart from constant multiples? Well, that differentiates to 2x. So yes, it's fine because the two is the constant multiple and I can adjust for that. If there wasn't an X there, I wouldn't be able to do it this way. So what we do, let's get rid of those red marks. So um, that what we do is we think, okay, what sort of thing, we ignore the outside. Then we say, what sort of thing would differentiate to that? Well, what would differentiate to it, to it would be x squared plus 1 to the power of 5. So, if we now once we've written that down, all we've got to do is adjust and we should get this. So, the 5, if we're differentiating that, the 5 will come down the front and we get, uh, get 5 blah 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 to the power of 4. But we don't want the 5 there because there's no multiple there. So, it's a fifth to get rid of that 5. And then so a fifth times by the five would give us x squared plus one to the power of four multiplied by the two x from the chain rule. There's the x from the chain rule. So we need to get rid of the two. So our final answer will be one tenth x squared plus one to the power of five plus c. Let's do another question. Slightly easier on this one. 2x minus 3 to the power of 6. Does the middle differentiate the outside? Well, the middle differentiates to 2. That's a constant multiple. I can adjust for that. So it's going to be, so what sort of thing? It'll be 2x minus 3 to the power of 7. So once you've written that, now it's a case of differentiating back and making sure that becomes that. So the 7 will come down the front. We don't want that there. Multiple, so that will be 2x minus 3 to the power of 6, multiplied by 2 from there. We don't want the 2. So the answer is 1 over 14, 2x minus 3 to the power of 7 plus c. So on this one, the middle does the middle, x cubed minus 5, differentiate the outside to the outside, x squared. Well, it differentiates 3x squared. Yes, the constant multiple being the 3. That's fine, but I need the x squared there. If the x squared wasn't there, I would have to do it by a different method. So this would give us x cubed minus 5. What sort of thing would differentiate to that to the power of 8 would be a power of 9. So once we've written that, we differentiate back this back and we adjust. Don't do anything with the x squared. So 9 would come down the front and we don't want it there so we times by a ninth and then we multiply. So that would be x cubed minus 5 to the power of 8 which is that bit there and then we've got an x, x cubed there differentiate to 3x squared so we put the third there and we add c and then we get 1 over 27 x cubed minus 5 to the power of 9. Plus C. All of these can be done by substitution, but if you can't do this inspection method, it's going to take you a long time. You really, really, really need to master this. It's difficult at first. 
So watch this video a few times, keep doing different problems. Um, let's do um, this one here. Okay, now, so I'm gonna write that like that with the negative power. So once I've written that, it's just like the other questions. Does the middle differentiate the outside? That differentiates 2x, I can adjust for the 2. So we ignore that x and work on that. What sort of thing would differentiate to that? Well, minus 3. So therefore, when we differentiate minus 3, you're going to get minus 4. So when we differentiate that, the minus 3 comes down the front. I don't want the minus 3 there. And then we would multiply by a 2x, but I only want the x. So my final answer is minus a sixth, x squared minus 5 to the power of minus 3 plus C. And then let's do a x squared over x cubed as minus um, 2 to the power of 7. So it'll be x squared, x cubed, minus 2 to the power of minus 7. Does the middle, differentiate the outside, x cubed minus 2, differentiate to 3x squared, so we've got the x squared, that's fine. We ignore the x squared now, so we do what sort of thing would um, differentiate to that? x cubed minus 2 to the power of minus 6 would differentiate to that. So we subtract 1 when we're differentiating. So the minus 6 would come down the front, don't want it there. And we go 3x squared at the end, we only want the x squared, so we have that. So the final answer would be a minus an 18th x cubed minus 2 to the power of um, minus 6 plus c. We can take this further now when we've got, let's say, e to the 2x. Now, this time, the 2x is the middle. The 2x, 2x differentiates to 2, which I can, of course, um, adjust for because it's constant multiple. So this is going to be e to the 2x, e, what, e to the what differentiates, e to the what, basically e differentiates to e. So that would be, if I differentiated that, it would be e to the 2x times by 2, but I don't want the 2 there. So that's the answer. Um, if I have um, x, e to the x squared, does the middle differentiate to the outside? Yes, apart from that differentiates 2x, that's fine, I can adjust for that. So therefore, that'll be e to the x squared, Again, you ignore that. So that would differentiate to 2x squared, sorry, excuse me, 2x e to the x squared. I only want x e to the x squared, so I'm gonna to have to multiply it by half. If you've got x squared e to the x cubed, then x cubed, the middle, Differentiate the outside, the middle, differentiate to 3x squared. So that's fine, I've got the x squared there, I can adjust for the 3. So I'm going to write down e to the x cubed. So that would differentiate to e to the x cubed times the 3x squared. I don't want the 3. Let's do it with trigonometry now.
So, you might find this easier. Hopefully you can do this mentally in future. If it's written like this. So the first question is, does the middle differentiate to the outside? Well, now, you may know, you may want to stop here, you may think this is, I haven't done trigonometric differentiation or integration, so stop the video here. But if you want to know about trigonometric integration, do carry on. So, you may have come across this, but this is a quite a useful little thing, so I'll put it here. So, sine differentiates to cos, which differentiates to minus sine, which differentiates to minus cos, which differentiates to sine. So differentiation goes that way, and integration goes that way. So cos integrates to sine, which integrates to minus cos, and so on. Some people find that quite useful. So what does sine differentiates to cos? That's fine. So what sort of thing would integrate to that? Now I'm gonna hopefully you'll be fine with me writing that sine to the power of four x, or brackets with a four. So, what would that differentiate to? Well, the 4 would come down the front, and I don't want it there. Leaving with the sine cubed of x times sine x differentiated, which is cos x. So that differentiates to that. Now, if you need to write it in brackets, go ahead and do it, but I'm not going to um, put it in brackets this time. Hopefully, you will be able to do it without the brackets there. So, what is that equal to? Um, right, so cos differentiates to minus sine. So, that's fine. I can adjust for that negative one. That's a constant multiple. So, what sort of thing, we'll ignore the sine, what sort of thing would differentiate to that would be cos cubed of x. So where so differentiating that back, the three would come down the front. We need to get rid of that. Multiply by cos x differentiator, which is minus sine of x. I want the sine, I don't want the minus. If we've got um, sine squared x, cos x, sine differentiates to cos. So we will call that sine cubed of x. The 3 would come down the front when we're differentiating that. We don't want it there. Multiply by the sine x differentiate, which is cos x. Let's do um, sine x cos to the power of 4 of x. Cos differentiates minus sine. That's fine. I can cope with the minus. So therefore, that's going to be cos to the power of 5 x. The 5 will come down the front. Want to get rid of it. Multiplied by cos x differentiated, which is minus sine of x, I want to get rid of the negative. Now, the differential of tan x is sec squared of x. So tan x differentiates sec squared x. So we're going to integrate that by saying, okay, the middle does differentiate the outside. So therefore, we're going to call that, stop by saying, it's 10 to the power of 5x, differentiate 5, come down the front. We don't want it there, please. Let's get rid of it. Um, multiply by tan x differentiated, which is sec squared of x. The, um, so let's do a few more. If we've got tan squared x, sec squared x. So that is tan cubed x. Middle differentiates the outside. Um, tan cubed would differentiate to tan squared. Diff the three would come down the front, don't want it there. And then multiply by tan x differentiated with sec squared x. And one more, tan x. 6 squared x. 
Now this time, it's this. We're going to sort of call this to the power of 1. So that differentiates to that. There is another way of doing this one, but this is probably the uh, easier one of the two. So 10 squared x times by a half plus c will give you that. And just to finish off some fairly easy um, integrations, um, if we've got cos of 2x. So we know that cos integrates, well, sorry, the differentiation of sine is cos. So we're going to do sine of 2x, or we can, of course, the middle differentiates the outside, that differentiates to 2. We can adjust for that. So we adjust for that by calling it a half. So sine differentiates cos of 2x multiplied by 2x differentiate, which is 2, get rid of it, a half. So we sine of 3x. So what differentiates? We know cos of 3x would differentiate to something like sine. So cos differentiates to minus sine, so we need to get rid of the negative sign. I've left a little gap there. So, and of course, then we multiply by 3x differentiate, which is 3. I want to get rid of it, a third. So if you have the integral of cos of 7x, that'll be sine of 7x. Um, sine differentiates cos, 7x differentiates to 7, get rid of it. And sine of 5x. Um, cos of 5x, cos differentiates to minus sine, and 5x differentiates to 5. So that is integration by inspection type 1, where does the middle differentiate to the outside, apart from constant multiples.